So I was looking around online to try and find some more pictures of the Edge of Tomorrow exoskeleton so I could get a better idea of how, how all the joints work. And I found this CGI artist who's actually gone and 3D modeled the entire exoskeleton. Look at that. This is amazing. Anyway, I emailed him and he's actually interested in uh, my project and is willing to send me all the files. The only problem is he's a CGI artist which means the files he works with aren't the same as the files I work with. So this is more of a graphical 3D model whereas I need something um, that works with 3D CAD. Now we might be able to import it and have a little band-aid fix but we'll have to see what happens. But yeah, look at that. Whew. So in case you guys want to check out his stuff, he runs a modeling company, I guess, or a something. called Japetus Productions. Uh, there's a link in the description so you guys should go check him out. And he's got more pictures of the exoskeleton here. So yeah, let's see what we can do. So I'm using this software called MeshLab, which is an open source 3D modeling software, uh, mostly used for 3D printing. And I can actually import the model Give it a sec. Wow, look at that. <laughs> so this is one huge file, but look at the detail. So what I can try and do is convert this into a format that my 3D CAD can use so I can then actually make the parts. Oops. Yeah, look at that. This guy does amazing work. I wouldn't even know where to begin for a model this complex. And he, he designed it just watching the movie and replaying clips. Like, seriously. Incredible. So after a bit of uh, black magic in Mesh Lab, I've been able to convert the file into something that SolidWorks can open and actually edit. So these are all solid features now. It's still not going to be that easy to break it down into parts to actually manufacture, but we're a heck of a lot closer now. So the problem was this took around almost an hour of uh, computer time just uh, converting it to the format I needed it in. So it's going to take me and my computer quite a while to convert the entire suit. I've tried a few other pieces so far and I've gotten a few problems. so. We'll see what happens, but um, some of this stuff is awesome because it did actually end up exporting as a uh, single part. So now I can actually extract the profile of this and laser cut the pieces, weld it all together, and yeah, it's going to take a long time, a lot of steel, and it's going to cost a lot of money, but I think we've got something pretty promising. But yeah, look at this thing. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do these joints. That looks pretty basic from here. <laughs> All right, uh, that's it for now. Uh, I've got quite a bit of design work ahead of me now, but I'll try and keep you guys updated. And I'm planning on building a full wooden version of this exoskeleton before I go out and 
spend thousands of dollars making a steel one. It's, it's literally going to be really expensive. So if you guys haven't voted for my uh, contest entry, please do. I really, really need that money if I want to actually complete this project because I don't have that kind of money sitting around. Thanks for watching. support this project by donating to it, I'd invite you to check out my Patreon campaign. It's kind of like a Kickstarter, except it's for content producers. And as a reward for donating to the channel, you get behind the scenes access and extra updates on my projects.